Good afternoon, Messiah kids. It's Friday. Yay. No schoolwork over the weekend. And if you're like the school districts around my house, next week is your last week of school. So way to go. Um, speaking of school, you probably have teachers who um, hopefully they're teachers that you really like and um, they have made school fun for you. So today I have a very silly book about a teacher who was silly, but in reality it was a way to teach for kids. It's called Don't Be Silly, Mrs. Millie. My goodness. Mrs. Millie, our teacher, is really silly. Every day she says, Good morning, children. Please hang up your goats. Don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean our coats. At eight o'clock, our teacher announces, please rise for the frog salute. Oh no, we shout, you mean the flag salute. It's nine o'clock. Time to write, Mrs. Millie says. Get out your paper and penguins. Don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean paper and pencils. At 10 o'clock, it's recess time. Yay! The best time of the day. Our teacher looks out the window. It just stopped raining cats and dogs. Don't step in a poodle. Don't you mean a puddle? We ask, giggling. She really is very silly, isn't she? We play outside until our teacher blows her whistle. Recess is over, she yells. It's time to chameleon. Don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean it's time to come in. At 11 o'clock, Mrs. Millie says, you may get drinks, but don't cut in the lion. You mean the line, we yell. At 12 o'clock, our teacher announces, time for lunch. Wash your hands with soap and walrus. Oh, you're silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean soap and water. Of course. As we get in line, Mrs. Millie reminds us, don't forget your lunch, Bunny. Oh, that's right, our lunch money, we shout. Mrs. Millie puts on her reading glasses so she can read the menu. They have gorilla cheese sandwiches today. Oh, don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean grilled cheese sandwiches. At 
at one o'clock. Our teacher picks up a book. It's story time. Come sit on the bug. Oh, you're so silly, we cry. You mean sit on the rug, not a bug. Who would do that? At two o'clock, Mrs. Millie calls us to the back of the room. It's time for art. Who wants to paint on the weasel? You mean the easel, Mrs. Millie. How can you be so silly, we ask. After art, our teacher asks, who's hungry? We have parrot sticks and quackers. We know what you mean, carrot sticks and crackers, we yell. At three o'clock, Mrs. Millie smiles what a fun day we have had, but it's time to go home. Put on your bats and kittens. Don't be silly, Mrs. Millie. You mean our hats and mittens. When we're ready to leave, our teacher goes to the door. Butterfly children, no, Mrs. Millie, we shout. You don't mean butterfly. You mean goodbye, Mrs. Millie laughs. We laugh too. Butterfly, Mrs. Millie. See you, Gator. And we wave goodbye as we get on the octopus. I think they're all a little bit silly in that book. Well, I think Mrs. Millie is probably a really good teacher. Because a really good teacher is creative and finds fun ways to make learning more interesting and it helps kids want to learn more. So the Bible has lots of verses about teachers and you know that Jesus was the best teacher. Um, so I looked up a couple verses about teaching. The first one is from Psalms, and we've done a lot of Bible verses out of Psalms. Remember, it's right in the middle of the Bible, and um, it's in the Old Testament. So this is Psalms, it's chapter 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye. So a good teacher is helping you learn how to live your life, um, what things that you need to know in life, and at least get you started. They can't teach you everything. You have to learn things as you go. But that's what a good teacher gets you started with. Then in Luke, and that's in the New Testament, and it's one of the four Gospels at the very beginning of the New Testament. And we're looking at chapter 6, verse 40. The student is not above the teacher. But everyone who is fully trained will be like their teacher. So this is talking more about Jesus. We are all students of Jesus. 
and we will never ever be above Jesus. But if we learn to do the things that Jesus is trying to teach us, we can be like Jesus. Um, for instance, when you say, what would Jesus do? You are being like Jesus. When you are kind to your neighbor, you were being like Jesus. When you are showing love to somebody else, you are being like Jesus. So that's the story I have. And the craft today is really fun. Um, in the book, there were all sorts of animals. There were goats and frogs and lions and octopus and butterflies and all sorts of things. Oh, cats and dogs, bunnies. Yep, we had lots of animals. And I thought, well, I've got to choose an animal. So I wanted to do something different that we haven't done. And so we made, I made a lion for you. And this is really easy to do. So I just drew a circle. I have a, I have a bowl and I put it on the paper and I drew a line around it so that I knew where I wanted the lion's face to go. And then you don't have to use Google eyes. You could dry your own eyes. You could do silly eyes. You could do whatever you wanted. Um, his nose is a triangle. And then I just made a half smile on each side and then his whiskers. And then this is what's really fun for his mane. What do you think I used? Look at that. It might have been a whole lot of brush strokes, but it's really fun to do. I got a fork out. Now, I had some plastic forks, so I didn't have to worry about cleaning it up or ruining a, one of our good forks. And I just put some paint in my pan, and I took the fork and dipped it in and just started going around and a little more paint and going around. So that is with a fork. How fun is that? So that is our lion. And uh, I think that was the part where they were getting juice and Mrs. Millie said, don't cut in line. And of course she meant don't cut in line, but you would never want to cut in front of a lion, would you? No, I don't think so. Okay, before we close, I'm going to give a shout out to Aria. Hi. And um, I thank all of you for being here. We have the weekend coming up and hopefully we're going to get a lot of sunshine and be able to be outside this weekend. So let's bow our heads in prayer and I will be back next Monday then. Dear God, please bless each one of these kids that is out there watching this story time. May they appreciate their teachers who have worked so hard this year to help them learn. And may they learn how to teach others, to be kind to others, to show love to others, just like Jesus, who is our very best teacher, would want us to be. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I will see you all again on Monday. Thanks for being here.